one stronghold on each ring around the circle at certain angles, blah, blah, blah. Introducing Vitality's stronghold. All right, so right there, Z over X equals tan number S. This will all make sense later. Uh, mu S over 360 degrees. Z is just your basic X, Y, Z coordinate in Minecraft. And you don't really need Y to locate any strongholds because uh, you can just dig down. And then we're gonna skip tan right now. I'll give a little trigonometry lesson later in the video. So we'll get back to tan later. Number sign S. All right, so number sign S is what number stronghold you're on and how you define or choose what number stronghold you're on is by assigning it a number. So for me, to make things simplest, I chose whichever point was closest to the x-axis um, and I made all of those number one of their respective rings. Now, now on the Minecraft wiki, you can see the graph of how many strongholds are on those rings. And then that leads us to our next S, which is mu S. And what mu stands for and why I put that there, I know it's usually used in physics and this is totally not how you should use it, but what that's saying is the total number of strongholds in that ring. Mu means usually just like the max sum of, so I guess it makes sense, but usually in reality, mu S would probably mean 128 strongholds, but I guess just in our case, I'm saying it's the max amount of strongholds in your targeted ring. So let's say you're choosing ring four, mu S will be 15, because there are 15 strongholds in ring four. And finally, you're dividing the total number of strongholds by 360. What that does is tells you the angle in between each stronghold. And then what I had to do was go along the seed and find the coordinate for what number one was for each of them. And because I know where each ring is, like you can literally see the coordinates of each ring. All I need to do is plug uh, zero for my Y and then move to, let's say 2000 for the first ring, um, 5000 for the second ring, 8000 and so on. And so once I figured out all the uh, closest X axis rings, which I'm calling number one, all you gotta do is rotate it 120 degrees for the first ring. For the second ring, you just see, oh my gosh, there's six portals. So you do six divided by 360, which is 60. And so you know that you just need to rotate this second point 60 degrees. And so once you rotate it 60 degrees, you'll get that point right there. You're like, wait, how do I rotate a point? All we care about is Toa. What Toa is saying is that tan angle, this, this whole thing is angle, um, which also tan is tangent, equals, and then O over H, which is opposite in, in like a triangle. You have opposite over adjacent. And so your adjacent in the Desmos is your X axis, and then your Y is your O, which is opposite. And so all you gotta do if you're looking at like a pure triangle is add 60 to theta. So going back to ring two, you're, we're rotating this point, which is nearly at zero, 60 degrees. So you let, let's just ignore whatever degrees this is since it's so just minimal. It, it, it literally wouldn't affect anything. So let's just say tan 60 equals z over x. So you have a 60 degree line going up along this curve and you know that the stronghold is somewhere on this line. And so all you got to do from there is plug in an x value that's inside of the ring. And you can like see, oh, on this line, the x value that intercepts, let's just say 2000. 2000, that's like right here and you put in your point and you're only a couple hundred blocks off and then how you solidify that is you simply just go there and you could and you could see like in my video um i had to throw a couple eyes that's because i guess i kind of lied i didn't exactly pinpoint every single stronghold um some of them were roughly 150 blocks away but strongholds are wonky like that because strongholds can be a hundred blocks wide, a hundred blocks long, 
um so you can't really know for sure what the exact point is without throwing a couple eyes and calculating the angle or just going into single player and doing slash locate for each portal and so from this i got every single point and to pinpoint and like solidify every single stronghold which i actually did was i quite literally went into single player and did slash locate and made sure that every one of these points were correct and if any of these points were wrong then I'd, ad I'd just adjust it and what ended up happening was i realized hey i'm like 100 blocks off 50 blocks off but it was never never more than 150 so that's how this math helped me a lot it's because if i was let's say just guessing let's say i threw myself right here at this point what would end up happening i'm trying to look for a second ring portal right now and i put myself at this point but what would have ended up happening was a stronghold on the third or first ring would end up catching the slash locate so slash locate wouldn't work if you just teleported and guessed and check it, it would throw you on rings that you did not want to be on so i hope that made sense i i'm, I'm sorry i've literally never explained math before i literally never thought i would be explaining math uh, sorry if that wasn't clear at all um but i hope it helps clarify and um i will see you guys in the next one yeah